it's Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club and today we're doing a piggy bank video for you guys. We're going to be opening up and decorating this Rose Art Color Blanks piggy bank with hopefully these 12 glitter glue tubes and we're also going to be opening up our Play-Doh piggy bank with a couple toy surprises inside. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up our Rose Art piggy bank first. And if you notice right here on the front, it's got a Hobby Lobby sticker and there's the price of it, $12.99. So it's definitely not that expensive to do this. The glue was $5.99. So I'm hoping the glue is going to work. I don't know what's going to happen when we try to put the glue on this plastic piggy bank. But let's go ahead and get this out of the package so we can take a better look at it. So first up, here's our blank piggy bank. And if you notice, I took the bottom out and I actually couldn't get the bottom out with my hand. So I had to use these little pliers right here to pry it off there because it was that hard to get it out, but it did pop off. And here's a look at the top. Doesn't look like it could hold that much money, maybe 30 or $40 or something like that, unless you put dollar bills inside of it. And then here are the stickers that it comes with. Not the most interesting stickers, but that's the reason why it also comes with markers. And these are going to be the sticky dots, which I assume are going to go on the bottom so that it'll stay stuck to your desk or wherever you put it. And then here are the markers that it comes with. You have green, yellow, red, pink, blue, and black. So it's a pretty nice assortment of colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the markers to kind of put some outlines of some designs on this. And then we're going to use the glue to hopefully go over it. I really don't know what's going to happen when we try to gl put glue on this. It might not even stick to it. So we're going to find out. But to start with, let's go ahead and draw a dollar sign. And then for our other side, I'm going to draw a one cent symbol, or at least my version of a one cent symbol, which is going to be kind of just a simple little C with a line going through it. So there's our one cent symbol. There's our dollar sign. I'm not, by any means, I'm not an artist, so that's the best I can do. Now, let's get the blue out, and we're going to draw some eyes on this thing. Hopefully that's even because there is no erasers with these markers. It, it's a little off. In fact, let me see if I can kind of correct it just a little bit. See if we can kind of even it out a little. There we go. It's a little, still a little crooked, but that's okay. And then for our mouth, we're just going to draw a very simple little circle. Just kind of like a little circle right there. So that's going to be our initial designs on this. We don't want to make it too complicated and just put a whole bunch of stuff all over it. But I do want to draw one more thing. Let's draw a little piggy tail. And I'm going to use this little sticker right here as kind of a guideline for that. So let's see if I could make that somewhat. So there's our little piggy tail. In fact, let's give it kind of more of a circle right there, which... Even though I kind of messed up on it a little bit, it's okay because we're going to be putting glue all over that. So there's our piggy tail. So there's our front, there's the dollar sign, the one cent symbol, and the piggy tail. Now one more thing that I want to do, I keep saying one more thing, but <laughs> let's, I want to put like a little circle or something up here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a little design up here. And we're going to make this all different colors. Alright, so there's our goofy little design on the top. Now, let's break this glue open and see what we can do with the glue tubes. This is either going to turn out really cool or it's going to not work at all, which would be very unfortunate. But let's go ahead and get these out of the package. And for the front eyes, I'm trying to decide between these two blues. I think I'm actually, I'm going to go with the lighter color blue here. And okay, so the glue's already coming out a little bit. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I had to pop it open or what. So let's see if this glue will actually stick to the... It looks like it's sticking pretty good. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to be able to do this. 
The only thing I'm going to have to be kind of careful of is the fact that I'm not going to be able to sit here and wait for the glue to dry. So I have to be pretty careful that I don't touch the glue because it's probably going to stay wet for a few hours. So now that we have the outline of the eyes, let's go ahead and make them some actual eyeballs. We're going to make them some green eyes. Green goes good with money. And again, I have to be very careful not to touch the glue, which is going to be the trickiest part about doing this. In fact, if you were going to do this at home, you'd probably want to just do like a little piece of it at a time. And that way you don't risk kind of smearing the glue all over the place because it'd be kind of hard to clean it up. I mean, you should be able to just wipe it off if you do smear it, but the easiest thing would be just to let parts of it dry first. Let's go ahead and give him a green mouth to match his eyes. I'm going to try to kind of cover up the black marker too. Now my plan is, is once I get all the glue on and it dries, then I'll come back with some markers and kind of color in some of the other white parts of it. And I'm going to take my other color, my other shade of green, and I'm going to give him some eyebrows. He can't have really that big of an eyebrow, especially since it's kind of uneven. But I'm just going to give him kind of a little bit of an eyebrow. So there, now he's got some eyes and some eyebrows. And I'm going to fill in that eyebrow just a little bit better. There we go. Now if you notice, it's real glittery, it's shiny, and it's glistening, and I can tell that the blue is already starting to dry, so it doesn't seem like it's gonna take too long for it to dry. And now, I'm gonna take my other shade of blue, and I'm gonna kinda fill in his ears. I'm just gonna give him kinda like a little inner outline. I have to be kinda careful here, cause the green's pretty close to the ear. So there we go, so now he's got some little dark blue ears. And I'm also going to take the blue and I'm going to fill in his nose, the little holes right here. There we go. Now that's starting to look pretty neat. Now I'm going to take this uh, reddish purple color and I'm going to make the little one cent sign. Wow, that almost came squirted out of there a little too quickly. Yeah, this one seems like it's a little watered down. It's a little bit harder to work with this one. This one's not sticking quite as good. I actually just touched a little bit of the blue, so I gotta be real careful here. Yeah, actually, it's, it's starting to run a little bit because it's so liquidy. So definitely not gonna use much of this color. I mean, you could tell just from looking inside of there, it's just like super watered down. So for this next part, for the pigtail, we're going to use this kind of like a darker purple color for it. And all the other glues work just fine. It was just that one color that just did not want to stick very well. Now for the next part, we're going to do the top up here. I'm going to start with the little blue bubble right here on the side. And I'm actually, I'm going to fill the whole thing in on the top. So there's that first one. Got to be careful because everything's wet still. Let's go ahead and get the second one. And now we're going to do the lines. And of course, as I say that, I touched the dollar sign down there. But let's go ahead and get our first line in. I'm going to very gently go across that blue and I'm going to go ahead and fill this in too. So we're going to have a filled in line right here. And again, this would be 20 times easier if you just, if you're more patient and you just wait for everything to dry. Now that we got the purple filled in, let's go ahead and add some gold. We're going to put some gold in between the purple. I'm going to try to do it so that hopefully it doesn't mix the colors together. And as you can see, the, the gold and the purple are both, I mean, more like a glue-like texture. The, again, the only one that we had a problem with was that one color for the one cent sign. So there we go with the gold and the purple. That actually looks really cool together like that. 
and I want to put another design on here. Let's actually, let's make some little stars. We're going to put some stars on it. <laughs> the uh, silver actually just kind of squirted out there. But we're just going to make a really simple star. And on this side, I'm going to put like a little moon. A little crescent moon. And then if I can turn this without hopefully getting any glitter on it, I'm going to add just kind of like a little line going down its eye right here just to kind of give it a little, little more of an expression on its face. And since we still have a lot of room on the back, I'm actually going to take these two a little, little further. I'm going to put a purple outline around both the shapes, give them a little bit more of a, kind of make them stand out a little bit more, I guess. I'm going to do the same thing for the moon. I'm going to use the darker blue. Just kind of give it an outline here. And the key is to kind of make sure that you even out the texture, which you can kind of see me going back over it a little bit here and there. And for the finishing touch right here on the front, I'm going to give him kind of a little bit of an outline on his little piggy does so that the does stands out just a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing up here on his ears. I'm just going to kind of lightly go over the outside of his ear so that his ear stands out. Got to be kind of careful still with all this glue. This thing's just covered in wet glue right now. And I'm going to do something really bold here. I'm going to try to go around this greed, which is still very wet. And I was kind of just taking one last look at the back here and I'm going to do something that I'm not sure how it's going to look, but I'm going to just take some of this gold and just put some little dots around here just to kind of make it kind of fill in the, the empty space here a little. I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm just going to kind of put some little gold dots in some of the empty spots around here. And here's a look at our finished pig. And I actually went back and put some silver dots on there to go with the gold. So now it's got gold and silver little polka dot spikes all over it. Kind of like a cactus puppet away. Here's a look at the back. Turned out pretty good in my opinion. The only thing I don't really like, I, I wish I would have done a better job on that dollar symbol right there. And I really wish I would have used a different color for that one cent because that just, you can see it's still just wanting to run and smear so I might have to go back and fix that like again and then once this dries in a few days I'm probably going to go back and color it in a little bit so that it has a little bit more color to it but I think it turned out pretty good and now for the moment that some of you have been waiting for let's open up our little play-doh piggy bank I'm sure I'm gonna yeah I was gonna say I'm sure one of his legs is gonna fall off I actually knocked off two legs let's go ahead and take his nose off take his ears off and now let's take the play-doh off so we got a surprise pack in here we actually have two surprise packs we have marvel and we also have my little pony hmm which one should i open first <laughs> i know most of you want to see the my little pony so i'm gonna open up the marvel one first because i want you guys to wait until we get to that one so let's see what we got oh no we got another pin I'm not a big fan of the pins. So we got a Iron Man Marvel pin and you can kind of stretch it out and use it as you can see, but not a big fan of these. I'm still hoping, waiting to get one of the action figures. We've yet to get an action figure out of one of those. Now, let's open up the My Little Pony pack. The only thing I don't like about these is they don't have tear strips. I don't know why they don't put tear strips on these. Cause you, there's a card inside and you don't want to tear the card up. So it looks like we got Fluttershy. I've gotten Fluttershy quite a bit out of all sorts of different surprise packs. So I'm pretty familiar with this one. So here is our pink and yellow Fluttershy. It's, it's kind of like a very, very light shade of yellow. She's got blue eyes. Here's a look at the other side. 
So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed our little decorating video. If you do want to see more videos like this, be sure to press the like button. We do take that into consideration when we're trying to decide what types of videos that we're going to make on here. So again, if you want to see more of the decorating stuff, be sure to press the like button. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.